What's up guys, it's your boy DS, and today we're going to be talking about Silo, breaking down how his class slash character works, so that you guys can get all the info on that, and then decide if you want to choose this Wayfinder as your starting class or character. Now, we'll be making this video over all of the classes and characters, so make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into Silo. Swift and precise, Silo makes every shot count. Born into a family of smugglers, he spent his life running under the radar and challenging tyrants. Now he's using those same skills to fight the gloom. Silo loves long odds. The greater the challenge, the greater the thrill. Now, looking at Silo's difficulty, as you guys see, this is a decent step above Wingrave. Wingrave being half a hexagon, Silo has two hexagons worth of difficulty. So, he's not going to be that difficult. He's not going to be the most difficult character in the world, but... Uh, as far as this character or class goes, he is going to be a little bit more difficult than Wingrave. And you guys are going to see that whenever we start getting into his abilities and everything like that. It's going to be a little bit different than your walk straight at the enemies, swing at the enemies a couple times, and then walk away. He's going to have a little bit different playstyle, so stay tuned for that. Silo switches easily between melee and ranged combat and is at his best when he embraces this versatility. He has a host of tactical tools. He can distract his foes with illusions, slow them with oil, or burn them with fire, potentially setting off deadly chain reactions. Now, as you guys can also see looking at his stats, he has a 10 in range, he has a 8 in support, and then he also has an 8 in control. And he also still has a little bit of stats in defense, which is at a 5, and then a little bit of stats um, in offense also as well, which is a 6. So overall, he is going to be playing from range, but he will be switching from range to melee and back the range. Uh, that is kind of like his play style. I kind of see him akin to a gunslinger, where it's like, you know, as a gunslinger, you do have guns, so you are one of playing at range. But since you are trying to weave in and out, something kind of like that. That's kind of how Silo is going to be played. So as far as Silo goes, that is how he works. Looking at Silo's first ability, Firebomb, toss a firebomb that ignites enemies dealing damage over time. Causes a chain reaction with oil bomb. So as you guys see, this is just a projectile. You throw it at the enemy and you light the enemy on fire. Now, they are very adamant about telling you guys about how he can basically make chain reactions. And uh, whenever we get into his next ability, you guys will see that. But I am interested to see what other chain reactions he can make as well. Because lighting the enemy on fire, it not only applies to oil, but this can technically apply with a couple of other things potentially. So we'll obviously have to wait and see how that works. Uh, there are characters in the game that have poison. So maybe that'll you know work with them. I don't know. But as far as his first ability right there it is firebomb tosses a firebomb out and it lights the enemy on fire moving on to his next ability oil bomb leaves a pool of oil in front of silo slowing enemies and causing them to take additional damage so the, you know the, whenever we were looking at his stats you saw that he had a lot of control and he had a lot of range well this is one of the reasons why whenever you throw the oil down it'll slow the enemies that already is going to allow you to stay at range so the enemies can't get to you maybe your teammates want to catch up to an enemy whatever the case may be the slow on the oil bomb is going to be really nice but not only that you can throw the fire bomb which is going to allow a explosion doing increased damage now uh you don't have to do that maybe you just want the oil bomb down if you do that's fine uh as you guys see when he throws the oil bomb down the enemy is slowed for the duration of the oil bomb being there as soon as he throws the fire bomb and the explosion happens the slow is gone so it really just depends on what you want do you want to have the slow on the enemy or maybe you're trying to dish out as much damage as possible whatever the case may be you guys can oil bomb and leave it there or you can oil bomb in a fire bomb and you know whatever the case may be uh just you know basically whatever the situation calls for that you that's what you guys can do now moving on to his third ability proto clone dash backwards leaving behind a clone that pulls nearby enemies in the clone will taunt nearby enemies into attacking it until it expires now this is going to be really nice because this is basically a way for him to get out of bad situations and as you guys see right there he does have a ranged weapon meaning that you are going to be wanting to play decently from range so if there's any enemies that jump on you or get onto silo he can do this back dash allowing the 
enemies to start attacking the clone and then he can basically regroup himself or get organized and then start dishing out damage once again overall i think this is a really nice ability because it is a basically an escape a way to him a way for him to get out of danger and then get back into the fight and doing whatever he wants to do or needs to do now this is really nice because you can use this ability and then the enemies are going to be taunted and then after the enemies are taunted you can throw down the oil slick which is going to slow all of the enemies and then even after that you can go into your firebomb which will blow all the enemies up so he does have a really a uh, nice combination uh, that he can do with himself, which is really nice. Not to mention, you can just combo with your teammates. If you do have people on your team, you can use this. They can use their ultimate or whatever the case may be. So uh, a lot of combo potential and combinations that you can use with Silo as far as he goes. Now that we're done talking about that, let's go ahead and talk about his ultimate ability. Silo sends out Egg to shock all enemies in the area, dealing a burst of damage. Egg remains in the area for a short time, slowing and damaging nearby enemies, and it is called Arc Nemesis. Now, uh, it's it's called EGG. I, I assume it's like Electro Grenade. I don't know Grenade Gadget. I'm not sure what EGG or Egg stands for. But as you guys see right there, he does you know uh, throw out this Electro bomb or whatever and it sits there shocking enemies and slowing them now once again you guys can use his proto clone and this will taunt the enemies and then you can go into your arc nemesis or your egg and you can basically combo like that or whatever the case may be i'm not entirely sure uh if the electricity will combo with the fire or the oil slick but uh as far as the proto clone into the ultimate that is a really nice combo to have or use if you guys want to or need to do so now that we're done talking about that let's go ahead and get into his passive strategic advantage deals bonus melee and range damage to enemies that are debuffed so this is going to be really good because all three of his damaging abilities debuff his firebomb puts fires on enemies the oil bomb slows enemies which is a debuff and then his ultimate also slows which is a debuff uh now i'm not entirely sure about the pro proto clone this taunting enemies taunt may be a debuff technically so if that's the case all of his abilities are debuffs so he will be dishing out more damage as long as you're keeping debuffs on the enemies moving on to a signature weapon the long shot Longshot was built by Salen Vex the first strike. He won a fortune from the Avar Reeve in a high stakes shooting contest and used this gold to found his network of smugglers. Looking at the weapon ability, Dead Eye, three Dead Eye weak spots appear on every enemy in range. Hitting these weak spots result in high damage and guaranteed crits. So, uh, you know, you can slow the enemies down and then that will allow you to hit your dead eye procs a lot better. This is a really nice addition to the character. Now, once again, you do not have to run this weapon on silo. If you guys want to run a sniper or whatever other weapons they have, or maybe just a rifle, whatever weapons they have in the game. If you guys want to run any of those weapons, you can. You don't have to run this weapon on him. This is just his signature weapon. And then as you guys see right here, there is his backstory. Now, I'm not going to read this, but if you guys want to pause the video and read it yourself, you can. Also, I will have this website link in the description. If you guys want to go to the website and check it out for yourselves, you guys can do that as well. But there you guys go. That is Silo. That is the character slash class breakdown. Overall, seems like a very uh, decent or powerful character, depending on how you use them. A little bit more mechanical than Windgrave. I feel like Windgrave is very easy. But with Silo, you're going to have to be thinking of, you know, if you want to use the oil slick for utility or if you want to use it into firebomb for damage. And then you want to, you know, make sure you're using your dead eye procs if you are using that weapon. And then how you can basically combo into your ultimate and just a, a couple of different things like that. But that is basically how Silo works. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.